This is a super super nice and quiet place. There is really nobody with a barking dog. But I woke up anyway in the night and I stayed awake for a while so I didn't sleep too much. I will try to wake up and get going. Start a new day. Oh, start. So first goal of the day is getting out of this province, the province of Hain, the province of the olive oil, and eventually also getting out of Andalusia. I started to go up north, and today I'm gonna start the day with this small bird I saw yesterday night, and I got news about it. So Let's go. I'm still dealing with some bad cats sometimes. As you can clearly see, I'm not out yet from this olive tree land. I entered yesterday this area uh, with olive trees. As you see, there are only and exclusively olive trees, anything else. And I couldn't get out. I thought I could get out and even get to Extremadura, but uh, I'm still here, I'm still trying to get out. Unbelievable. I have to say it's beautiful because it's cultivated. There are these perfect lines that inspire me like, to make it grow in the room or remind me of home. So it is pleasant to the eyes, but at the same time it's too artificial. It's not, not wild nature and somehow it feels like I want to escape it. But because this area is so huge, so extensive, I wasn't able to get out in a day and a half. It's uh, really, really starting to feel like a trap. Just see for yourself. Go again and dig in the labyrinth. The landscape just repeats itself over and over and over, exactly identical at every turn. I think I'm gonna have some fun here. I am going to check if I'm taking the right direction because these are the conditions of this paved road. And has, has been worse and it doesn't look like it's gonna get any better and it's there is plenty of giant holes in this asphalt. This is what you get when you choose the secondary road. At least I'm having some fun. When it's a little bit more challenging, it's uh, a lot less boring. I didn't know here about the challenge to come in the day. Point is, I don't really see some of the holes till I'm running into them. And here we go. There is no pavement left here. It's a bit challenging more because the feeling tired that I'm not grabbing the, the ground. I know that for the off-road people out there, this is nothing, but. Uh, 
with the naked street tires it doesn't feel so good <laughs> that's all so Blue skies smiling at me, nothing but blue skies in the sea. I have incredibly reached the end of the olive tree never ending labyrinth land and uh, going forward in direction of Extremadura still in Andalusia the landscape seems very changed even so before I said I was done with the olive trees but apparently not I'm not finished yet with the olive trees <laughs> there is plenty of mosquitoes Another dam here, there are a lot of in this area in the inner land of Spain to satisfy the need of water during dry and hot summers been running now that was very very fun I was running on the side of a valley down below the balze and this is the other side <laughs> the olive trees <laughs> I don't believe it they are diminishing but uh, still the mountains are cultivated with olive trees here and also stopped here by because I wasn't sure about the road I'm gonna take it seems really abandoned seems like the road stop here and then you are on your own <laughs> I'm gonna show you there. this is where I came from and this is where I see the line of the pavement the rest of the road I don't know wish me good luck <laughs> really really bad i mean there are some not well maintained road and then there are these ones that are not maintained at all Look at that. I think it's the first time I get them so near. Wonderful. There is an absolute silence. It's spectacular. I'm really happy. I didn't get scared. I kept going because it's really worth it. These are the condition of the road going down. Let's see how long this will last.
have the feeling the worst is yet to come. But maybe not. Positive vibration, yeah. This bar can be either good or bad sign. Could be marking the beginning or the end of the bad road. I knew it! I knew it! I told you the worst was yet to come. It's so So the road and remember I have a naked bike I have not enough road bike and here it is and this is how you do, you do not get bored during a travel And then another thing to say, often other riders uh, during my trips, they ask me how many kilometers you do in a day. What should I tell them? I mean, here it's not about the kilometers. You know what I mean? Look at the road. <laughs> it's a mess. I don't know if you can really see it. Uh, there are a lot of cerviato, uh, like Bambi, and also I have the feeling the worst is gone. and
Andalusia. And also I was checking the distance and I am halfway to finish this road. Hopefully the next one gonna be better. Otherwise I'm not going to arrive where I wanted today for sure. I stopped here just with the purpose of showing the, that I'm going back to civilization. So I want to remind to all the riders it's not about the quantity of kilometers it's about quality of kilometers and the best quality kilometers are the one that makes your trip in a, an adventure this it's how i experience my road trips maybe i do not ride a lot of kilometers in one day but sure as hell these few kilometers on this road made the best of my day lots of eagles i think they are eagles But I just entered a pine wood. There is a panoramic point. And again, I'm unbelievable. I won't say it's beautiful and I'm gonna miss it, I think. But here still there are hills and hills and hills cultivated olive trees. I leave you today with this view and I will catch up in the next episode. If you liked the video, give a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you!